everybody. Welcome, just in time for our next 10 videos. Come on in, let's go. Welcome to Larry's Fountain Pens, and here is your host, Larry the Pen Bug Guy. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pens. I'm Larry the Pen Bug Guy. In my hand today, I'm holding one of my favorite, amazing, oversized fountain pens. It is the Conklin Brownstone. Beautiful resin fountain pen with that uh, Conklin famous for the rocker arm right there. If you can see that little rocker arm back and forth. And it has the Conklin name put in the clip of the pen, which really looks, looks nice. And it's kind of a, a matte black finish type, real nice looking. And just look at this beautiful black browns, different tones of browns, shades of browns, and this beautiful resin pen. Uh, as you go up, the finial is just round, but just really fits well with the pen. It's all just well put together, and then you go down the barrel. It's nothing on the bottom, but it just all blends in. It's a vibrant, contemporary style, oversized, but streamlined design crafted from handmade European high-grade resin. The pin has some girth into the sides, which I like. As you know me now, I like girthy pins. Yet, it's not so girthy uh, or too large that it would be uncomfortable in your hand or even smaller size hands because mine are small hands. And this is a large pin. Right there. Show that to you real quick. The cap are both carefully tapered to fit and provide a perfect balance. Beautiful cap. And it is perfectly fit for that beautiful balance with the barrel. Really nice. The All-American uh, collection pays homage to the classic design of the vintage Cochrane era. They started decades back. The nib, the heart of the fountain pen, is a medium two-tone cushion point bearing the Coughlin with the R brand name and the historic Toledo, Ohio, USA mark with a special crescent-shaped breathing hole. And here is this beautiful black nib if you can see that beautiful nib, I'll have some pictures below when we're done with the video. Beautiful nib. The pen is made of those who want a large pen, which is this. If you want a large pen, the kind that stands out in the crowd, this is it right here. So we'll unscrew the cap and it can post if it's nicely in my hand or you can have it without posting. And like I said a few minutes ago here is the Conklin logo and description in the barrel right there. You unscrew the barrel and it comes with a ink converter, which I already have ink in, and I'll go over that ink with you in a minute. Uh, so this converter, what you want to do is unscrew the converter. This is screw in and screw out. It's not pull out, pull, push in. So remember, screw this in. Really a really nice fountain pen, in my opinion. Beautiful fountain pen. Now, 
the dimensions of this pen is really important. And I'll hold it in my hand here for you. The pen is 5.75 inches long when capped. And the pen is over 6.625 inches long when posted. The pen is over 0.625 inches in diameter at the widest point of the cap. And the widest point of the bow is set is uh, 0.67 inches. Again, 0.67 inches. Right in there. So there you have it. The Conklin All-American Brownstone with a beautiful black medium nib that's absolutely kick. So let me get some writing pad. But before I do that, I've decided to ink this uh, pin up with some Robert Orster Cafe Crema. Uh, thanks to uh, one of the viewers that sent me some of this. I wanted to get some, but uh, over at the the pin thing store, uh, they were they ran out. In fact, uh, when a, another reviewer bought the last bottle, so then I got this in the mail yesterday. Yay! Cool. So, and let me show you the colors I'm going to use. Okay, here's the pin, and I will take a close up of the colors. Here is the Robert Orster Cafe Cream right here. This is done with the pen, the medium nib, and this is done with the QT. Up against that is going to be the Diamond Chocolate Brown, and here's them with the nib, and this is done with a Q-tip. Last but not least, here is the Ebony Brown, just done with a Q-tip. So here's your different browns right here. And they're all really different. So, I thought I'd just give you a taste of that. So let me pull out the old Rhodia dot pad. Here you see the diamond chocolate. And one more thing before I get to that. Let me just show you in my life notebook journal. Uh, here is the Robert Oyster Cafe Crema. This is done with a cute uh, tip and with a medium nib. And here is the Diamond Chocolate Brown done with a nib right here and with a QT right there. Uh, and then up here is the Ebony Brown that really looks dark done with a Q-tip. So that kind of gives you uh, something to work with when you're thinking about a brown ink. So we're going to get you some rod in here. There's that rod brush. Nice, wet, juicy nib. This pen definitely delivers. And upside down, we'll check that out. Yes, it can right upside down, give you a mind nib. And in fact, this nib, no, no, this nib performs very well upside down if you want to get that finer nib. It's a nice wet ink. Nice nib. Delivers. The feed catches up with the flow. No problems with the uh, the flow. The nib. All in harmony as one as it's supposed to be. 
and wetness one more time because you know I love wetness. That's nice and wet. Well, there you have it. This is the Conklin All American Brownstone Fountain Pen with a medium juicy wet nib. Well, that's going to wrap this one up. So I really appreciate everybody that's tuning in today on Larry's Fountain Pen and joining me so I can share this marvelous fountain pen with y'all. Uh, as y'all know, I really like oversized fountain pens. Um, so, I'm not going to match up any pens today because I will do that at another time. I've got something else planned for that, so I'll save that. All right, well, I guess now it's time to say until our next video comes out, I want you guys to take care of yourself out there and be safe. And please remember, don't text and drive, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Peace, love, take care.